Hello, Ms. Amu. Welcome to another great episode of the Before the Veil Show. My name is Melissa Philippi, owner of Finest Planning and Decor Designing, where we celebrate love and also plan for our distinctive, elegant, and timeless couples. Today, it's all about the planner and their team. When you hire a planner, you don't only hire one person to lead your wedding. You hire a full team. A planner is going to have a planner's assistant. A planner is going to have a coordinator in their team. A planner is going to have a lady in waiting or bridal concierge, depending on what they do. There are some specifications to that. And also you have the guest concierge or welcome team. You also have a production manager. So it's a full team that comes with the planner. Come wedding day, each member has their roles to fulfill in order to have a successful wedding day. Your planner has been planning with you for months and months and months. And on wedding day, her role is overseeing all the vendors that were hired, also making sure that everything that was discussed during the planning process is well executed. Your planner will be going from your getting ready place to ceremony space, to reception space, meticulously watching everything to make sure that your day is a successful day. And when you walk in for your reveal, for your wedding reveal, your room reveal, you are excited and see all the details that you guys have planned together. The wedding planner is managing not only her staff, but also the staff at the venue that the wedding is taking place. Making sure that everybody's coming in on time. If there are some fires that need, need to be put out, her and her coordinator is going to be on top of that. And while you get ready and not knowing anything that's happening for the most part, your coordinator is an assistant to your wedding planner. The coordinator is also assisting to make sure that all the vendors are there on time. The coordinator is making sure that everything that the planner is unable to attend to at the moment, at the specific moment, they are handling that. Guest concierge or welcome team has a full layout of the entire facility where you're getting married. So therefore, when guests starts to come, they can point them in the right direction. So when ceremonies start, they will be there to ensure that the people are sitting in the right direction. The guest concierge or the welcome team, they're my little police. They make sure that no one is going down the aisle before our bride or before the bridal party. Unless there are some situations where that's the only entrance to the pews or the seats, then we'll allow it. But for the most part, they cannot go down the aisle. Also, they make sure that people are not sitting where there are reserved signs. Trust me, they try, they do. They want to have front row to the I do's, but guess what? Our team, they're there to make sure that those seats who are, that are reserved for the bridal party, the parents, they stay reserved until they make their way down the aisle. Our guest concierge, they also know in the room during the reception where each table is situated, where table eight is and exactly where the guests will be going. So not only they are there to welcome, but they help the guests to navigate the wedding without having so many questions, finding their name on the sitting chart, making sure everyone knows to find their names on the sitting chart. Because a lot of time, our guests, they just find it to be a pretty pictures. They take a lot of pictures in front of it, but they don't know to find their names on it. Although all the names are printed on the sitting chart. But our guest concierge make sure to announce it over and over so they can find their names. Now, you also have your production manager. Depending on how big the wedding is, you will need a production manager. 
your planner will have a production manager. That person handles anyone that has to do with decor. They have a full layout of the wedding also, a full a layout of what the ceremony is supposed to lo look like. So when vendors are coming, they know how to have them lay out the chairs, the runner, the florals, and all of that. And they also have a layout of the place, the reception as well. So if the planner is handling something else, they're fully capable of managing inside of the reception as well. They're also assisting with making sure that the design come to life. They are there to instruct everyone on from where to park to where each item is placed. So your production manager is a key member to your team on your wedding day. There's another person that we don't talk about much and that is your lady in waiting. Your lady in waiting is such a crucial member of, of the wedding planning team. That person is an assistant to the bride, to the bridal party in general. And sometimes it's not just one person, it could be a couple or three people that fulfills that role. But there's a main person, there's a main lady in waiting. For the day of the wedding, the lady, of, the lady in waiting assists the bride with everything that she needs. She makes sure that our bride is on time for hair and makeup. She has the timeline in her hand for the whole duration of the getting ready process. And she makes sure that the bride is actually on time for hair and makeup. Not only that, she makes sure that food is ordered on the day of the wedding or prior preparation where they discuss if the place is going to be catering for the, bride, for the bridal party or will food be ordered elsewhere. They also make sure that the room is ready for photo and video. They keep it neat with the help of the bridal party and also they make sure that your details are in place. So your veil, your gown, shoes, invitations, your perfume, jewelry, all of that is in place. So when photographer and videographer, when they show up, these things are ready for them. Your lady in waiting will also make sure that the whole bridal party is in tip top shape when it comes to their clothes. Um, no one goes down the aisle or photograph with wrinkled clothes. So she will assist with either steaming the bridal party's dresses, um, the bride as well, the bride mostly actually, and making sure that also the groom is being assisted with that part as well. And our bride is looking flawless. The lady in waiting will facilitate any gift exchange between you and your future husband will assist with first look or first touch. Lady in waiting, if you do not have a stylist on site, will also help the bride to get dressed. The lady in waiting comes with an emergency kit and all the goodness is in it. So if you have a malfunction with your dress, she's ready for you. You have a headache, she's ready for you. You hungry, she's ready for you. You have a stain, she's ready for you. We don't talk about the lady in waiting position much, but they are such a crucial member of the planning team. They make sure that the bridal party, the bride is ready to go. The lady in waiting is following this timeline very closely and making sure that all members who are supposed to be there are there. They're calling them ahead of time, just for an ETA. My lady in waiting does that. Making sure that the photographer, videographer is there on their way. So is a lady in waiting crucial? Yes. You wanna make sure that your planner has someone like that in their team to make sure that your day goes smoothly. A planner cannot be everywhere, and therefore, the planner has a team. 
and all these different members, they play a key role and that's what you are paying for. So at the end of the day, when a planner says they have a flat rate of this much or they charge a percentage of the wedding costs, it really goes towards many different people to make sure that your day is perfect. So when you hire a planner, you don't only hire one person, you hire a whole team. The lead planner may have been with you throughout the 9, 10, 11 months that you've been planning, but there's a whole team backing her up, making sure that on the wedding day, everything is well executed. To our do-it-yourself bride, it looks really easy to go ahead and start on your wedding planning process without any help. You feel that you have a lot of time and you're going to be able to execute whatever you want for your wedding. You even have plans of doing your bouquets by yourself, um, your invitations by yourself, and you're going to delegate this to your cousins and you're going to do have your auntie does this, and you have a whole plan. But understand that come day of the wedding, you will not have time to put your hand on anything. You will be photographed, hair, makeup, going from ceremony to cocktail hour to reception. And throughout this whole process, people will need guidance. People will need to know what they're doing. So this is why it's important to have a wedding planner. At the beginning, it sounds easy, but comes wedding day, all these vendors that you were hired, and if there are issues also during the, during the day, the place will be calling you, the venue will be calling you, putting more pressure, adding more pressure on you for solutions because you don't have someone in place to handle that for you. Also, one thing that makes hiring a planner a must is if you're working with a budget, with a specific budget, your planner not only helps you to come up with a realistic budget for your wedding, but also manages that budget. When you are spending as you go, you get to a point where you are overwhelmed. So it means that you didn't set a budget, you're just going with the flow and you're just spending. Next thing you know, you find yourself spending way above the amount that you would expect to spend on your wedding. But when you pair up with a professional planner from the beginning of the process, she will detail your budget. She will make sure that each service for your wedding, there's money allocated to these services based on your budget. So we're not getting excited and going to a venue that charges eight to a thousand dollars per person when our budget doesn't allow it. Just because it's beautiful, but if we are respecting the budget, it may not be the right venue for you. We're not getting too excited on hiring a photographer who is not within your budget. We're meticulously choosing vendors who fits into your budget. Now, if you see that you want something different, you can always up your budget as you go. But we are not, as a planner, we are not going to be stirring you in a path where you will go way over your budget. It will be vendors or services that fits within your budget. So hiring a planner, is definitely in your best interest and it's very much well encouraged for you to do so. And another thing that I notice, some brides are waiting to do certain specific thing before they book a planner. I have to find my venue first. No, don't find your venue first. I have to book my photo and video crew first before I book a, 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 a planner. No, don't do that. Once you say yes to your fiance, the next person you say yes to should be your planner. That's 
what I would like to advise you. Go into this process with a professional and a professional with a whole team who will guide you through this process, making it less stress, giving you peace of mind, making sure that your dream wedding is well executed. And at the end, you don't have to lift a finger. You don't have to put your family to work. They want to party. They want to enjoy the day with you. They don't want to be in the back, you know, doing God knows what, uh, packaging things or cleaning things. They don't want to do that. Um, you want them there taking pictures for memories. You want them dancing with you. So I hope this information is helpful to you. I hope you take it into consideration during your planning process so you can make the best decision for your wedding day. Until next time, ciao.